And so the Nick Foles and Carson Wentz drama can continue on because the Eagles, according to Ian Rappaport, are expected to pick up the option and pay $20 million and keep Nick Foles for the 2019 season. Now, my personal opinion on this is that I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I'm not at all. You, you guys know I love Nick Foles. He did what he did for us. Hey, we're grateful for you, you know, and if you want to stay here, we'll keep you. That's how that's how it seems like it's going to be, but I just don't want to deal with any more uh I don't want to deal with any more speculation or or controversy because of the two quarterbacks. You know, because Carson Wentz did what he did in 2017 and then got hurt. Nick Foles came in, won the Super Bowl, and Carson came back, played pretty well, but played through injury. Didn't get us the amount of wins we needed to. Got hurt and was out. Then Foles came in and brought us back to the postseason when we thought we were, you know, dead in the water. And we all know the controversy that some Eagles fans have, some media analyst out there, you know, for the NFL. You know what they th feel. Some people want Foles over Wentz. Some people want Wentz over Foles. I, for one, am on the Wentz side of things because I'm talking more of the future. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Foles, that he's too old, that he's not good or anything. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that between the two, Carson, I mean, we drafted him number two overall for no reason. I mean, we're not just going to trade him away. If we trade him away, this... This right here, what's happening with Foles, picking him back up, either it's just him not wanting to go anywhere, us being too afraid to let him go anywhere because, you know, there's there's teams like Washington that can pick him up and we can play him twice a year and he can potentially tear us apart because, I mean, hey, he's Nick Foles. He knows us better than almost any other quarterback in the league right now. So, at the end of the day, picking Foles up is not a bad idea. And, I mean, he can continue to help Wentz grow you know, if Wentz can, one, stay healthy, and if the offense can, two, click with him like it did back in 2017 prior to the ACL injury. It's just been weird ever since the Super Bowl. Like, don't get me wrong. The Super Bowl is the best thing that's happened to this franchise, to the city, to the fans as a whole. But <laughs> now it could come back to bite us because who knows if the Eagles are ever going to recapture this, recapture what they got, what they had. You know, in 2017, 2018, that whole Super Bowl playoff run. Granted, of course, I still believe that Wentz would have done the same because he was playing out of his mind before he got hurt. They were beating the Rams. So, I mean, who's to say he wasn't going to do it? Who's to say he wasn't going to win the Super Bowl? The last second-year quarterback to do it was Russell Wilson. He did it. No one questioned him. No one questions him now. Well, they questioned the interception the year later in year three, but, but still... Besides the point, you all know what I'm trying to say. I like the idea of picking up Foles again. Because again, I mean, if he doesn't want to go anywhere but be in Philly, where really it's his home. He's He was drafted here. He's done so much for us, and we've done so much for him. We have so much support and love for the guy. We have a statue for him, for crying out loud. So, I mean, hey, keep him. It's fine. But I'm just curious to see what this is going to do as far as towards every other Eagle fan out there, the controversy, all that stuff, you know? How how are people going to take this if it's actually true and we actually do pick him up? And I'm believing it's true because it's Ian Rappaport. Rappaport's almost always correct. The most consistent out of all of them. So let me know what you guys think about picking up Foles' as $20 million option. That's what the Eagles are expected to do, according to Rappaport. Let me know what you guys think. And, hey, try your best to enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow. Let's hope that Brady doesn't win. But you guys heard, you saw my video yesterday, you would know. Pretty damn sure he's going to win because Rams don't got it. Rams don't got it. This is the one Super Bowl that two that these two teams don't deserve to be here. This is the first time that both the teams don't deserve to be in the Super Bowl. This is how it ended up.